Hello all, today I am reviewing the iFlight Vertigo VX2 Vertical FPV Racing and um, this caught my eye because of that vertical word right there these arms are vertical and that's what is very interesting in a two and a half inch prop build and um, let's go ahead and look at what's in the box here of course you have your frame components but you get this sticker sheet and just a standard battery strap here nothing special on that and then you get the instruction sheet basically it shows where everything goes and your screw count and everything and um, here's a 16 m2 uh, these are actually m3 by 6 millimeter and the whole frame basically goes together with these screws and then you get the m2 by 4 millimeter 16 of these i think these are for the motors or intended for the motors because they don't go anywhere on the frame but it's nice they included those and then um, basically that's everything and aside from these screws here that are listed as the m2 by 5 millimeter you're supposed to get five of these but i only got four luckily at least i got the four to be able to mount the uh, motor mounts on here and i already put those on previously just to make this faster so let's measure everything up my caliper zeroed out and let's start with the arms arms are three millimeters top plate two millimeters bottom plate just under two and the camera side plates are just over one millimeter and not really sure how to measure these things but they are beefy this is the uh, front and rear arm braces slash posts right here so pretty durable looking I'm sure it'll be a little on the heavy side but that's okay plan on running 1106s with this um, but let me go ahead and build the frame out and we'll weigh it up and I'll give you my final thoughts afterwards be right back Alright guys, there she is all built up, looking pretty. I really like the way this frame looks, and the vertical arm setup is really nice. Let's finish up some measurements here before I give you my closing thoughts. And uh, Alright, here we go. All of weight, just the frame bare is 44 gram, 46 grams. Alright, so a little on the heavy side like we thought, but that's okay because there's not really many other choices for a... Uh, vertical arm um, 125 millimeter type build and um, we'll finish out the measurements here the, the height of the arms is about 11 and a half millimeters and then the stack height is 25 millimeters so plenty of room for your stack in there and then the I know this is for micro cameras but let's measure it while I have these out 19 millimeter mounting area for the cameras front to back we have about 85 millimeters and then side to side is a little bit wider at about 90 92 millimeters or 93 millimeters so we're looking at a slightly squished frame here angled motor motor to motor is going to be probably around 125 yeah 125 millimeters guys so let's go over the the pros and cons real quick guys there's there's quite a few uh, of each pros and cons so I'll start with the big stuff and uh, con number one is the motor mount area here you're not gonna have a lot of protection for your motors I'm gonna use these Emacs 1106 6000 KVs on here and I just lay them on there real quick. You can see there's there's just absolutely nothing to protect it. So I might look around for some TPU uh, mounts that go underneath here that kind of give you a motor guard. Pretty sure I'll be able to find something. And uh, that's con number one. So definitely maybe not for a beginner on this frame here. Con number two, 
the Zeus FC will not fit in there. I tried it, guys. You know I'm a Zeus fan and a HDLRC fan all in all. I ordered an F438 stack for this, and uh, it's going to fit in there perfectly. I got the one that comes with the VTX, the TX2, uh, TX20, excuse me, V2, and it's going to fit in there nicely. A little bit of an overkill, but that's okay. You can always use your electronics in other things, and I ordered that because it is a 20 by 20 millimeter stack. Uh, mounting holes here. The other last con I could find is I don't have a camera on hand. I ordered the Fox Hero Micro Pro for this uh, and I know those stick out a little further but the camera mount you see here is going to be sticking out. I'll probably pop a picture up on the screen here to show you guys of the their online picture but there's not a whole lot of space there and usually when you hit <laughs> you're usually in this direction right here. And this little little scooper here is, I don't know, a weapon. It's, it's not really going to protect a whole lot. Maybe the bottom um, of your camera, but yeah. I wish this was sticking out a little bit more on the front all around. Just to go flush with the lens would be perfect. So, okay, enough with the cons, guys. I can't really find any other con anyway. But the, the pros are, number one for me, the way the arms are cut. And it's a lot easier to do with individual arms like this. Unibody frames are harder to do, especially when they're not true X, because you know to get the frame laid out properly, you'll you'll always get an angle cut somewhere. But when you have uh, single arms, you, you you have the option of cutting these lengthwise along the arm length, and that makes the arm um, the carbon fiber stronger this way. And there is no flex in that arm there, and uh, flex this way. As far as rigidity, this frame is very strong. Right here is probably the weakest point where they mount, and they are very tight. Uh, this way, you're not going to get anything. They are super thick this way. The vertical arms going up, I haven't found anything in the two and a half, half inch prop arena that's even close to anything like this. Um, let's see, what else is good about this guy? It's a tank. Uh, <laughs> top mount battery or bottom mount battery um, really other than that it's ma mainly just a cool factor and that's what I like is unique I pick unique frames or newer you know frames that, that I haven't really seen much of out there on YouTube especially I, I haven't seen anything like this um, the only thing similar is a 5 inch build if you guys check out Albert Kim's review on the VX5 which is the 5 inch of this guy but it's really quite heavy. It has like um, aluminum sandwiching style plates that go on the outers of the arms also. And it's really, really heavy for a 5 inch. So pretty cool. Easily fit a 2.5 inch prop. And that's the other um, pro that I like is that it's a 2.5 millimeter arena. Because I've got quite a few of those um, style props those style frames and also the battery to go along with it the other costly thing for these guys are batteries so uh, that's why I kind of like this so I could use my existing batteries all right guys that's going to wrap it up for my review hopefully you enjoyed it and look forward to building this guy out so keep a lookout for that video um, I will get a build overview and flight footage made in flight video of this out very soon yeah, I appreciate your time, guys. Thanks for joining me. Hope you're having a great weekend, and you guys be safe and keep on flying. Take care.